if you're going to talk about large scale ballistic missile defense for the United States, mm-hmm. the fact of the matter is the time to shoot a missile down is when it launches. Exactly. It's on a fixed trajectory. It can't maneuver. It can't deploy what we would call penetration aids. It's very easy to hit. It has a large thermal bloom. It has a large signature. To do that requires space-based systems. Absolutely. And so if we want to defend the United States against attacks like this from intercontinental ballistic missiles, uh, we're going to have to be prepared to put systems on orbit, persistent systems on orbit, Mm -hmm. that are going to be able to detect. We actually have a great capability to detect Mm -hmm. now, Mm -hmm. but ability to quickly categorize and respond to missiles of this nature that would launch from another continent to attack the United States. Look, I I actually don't think this is technically uh, a dramatic advance over Mm -hmm. what we're doing now. I think it's I think it's I think it's possible to do. I certainly think it's worth pursuing. I think any 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 plan that increases the defense of the continental United States is a it's good, a good thing. plan. Yeah. You know, and yeah. there are other things we need to look at too. We need to look at defending ourselves against long range cruise missiles, mm-hmm. uh, and we need to examine hypersonics. But again, a hypersonic still has to gain speed. Yeah. It has to get to where it's going. Yeah. And you do so. The time to knock down a hypersonic is early in its flight has before to be, it pretty began. Much, right. To, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Before it can begin a maneuver. 